they are rare to spot in our technology crazed culture. Remind me of the old days. <laughs> the payphone. This one stands along Flower Avenue in Tacoma Park, Maryland. Hello. It may look like a dinosaur on the outside. I was surprised to see this one standing. That's why I thought I could make a call. <laughs> I couldn't. But the unexpected sounds living inside Bird calls. are like a phoenix rising to passerby Terrence Boatner. Hello. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> no, the phone, while free, does not make outgoing calls. Totally not what I was expecting. The fun starts when you push a button. Just press any key. I'll try one. Mockingbird. Okay, let's try another one. Richard Marks is glad that he stopped by the Bird Calls phone, an interactive public art installation. I thought I would just come by and see if it's uh, still working. And as I see, it's been dedicated to another purpose. I don't even, how he came up with that idea, that's genius. The genius behind this project is David Schulman, who lives nearby. This professional musician is an expert at blending sounds. Like the sonic symmetry of the violin and the bird. It's a payphone that's hot wired so that when you go up and press any button, instead of making a call to humans, you hear the calls of local birds. A couple years ago, the city of Tacoma Park commissioned Schulman to create this unique aviary. I mean, it's fun just to watch people experience it. I picked it up, I was like, oh, I can dial 1-800-COLLECT, but it was just birds. <laughs> Rachel Carver works nearby with her dad, Bill. Yes, tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a perfect piece of artwork, you know, that doesn't draw big attention. You got to come up to it to really appreciate it. His favorite, number four. <laughs> that was a crow, right? Yeah, it's a crow. <laughs> Despite the laughs, Schulman says things went afoul when someone infuriated the phone did not make a real call, smashed the installation's original handset. It takes a lot of effort to bust a payphone. I mean, they're built tough. Its replacement, appropriately colored, canary yellow. There's my bad pun, right? It's a canary yellow phone, right? And new feather banners now adorn the bird calls phone in the hope new users will flock to this unique corner. For all the pieces of modern technology pulling us away from our lives, maybe there's meaning in something from the past that allows us to stop and listen to beauty already in our backyards. And wow, it's got a bird on the top of it. That's so neato. I'm Jay Korf. You know, maybe only in Tacoma Park, I don't know. <laughs> For ABC 7 News.